This is Bruce Blythe with Vance Publishing. I'm here at the USDA's annual Agricultural Outlook Forum just outside of Washington, D.C. on Friday, February 5th. I'm here with John Nalivka, who's with Sterling Marketing out of Oregon. He gave a, a speech this morning that uh, was quite interesting, talking about the cattle cycle, uh, how that's been playing out over recent years. We were, we've been in a liquidation phase since around 2007, right? And uh, John, you see that continuing uh, another three years or so, I believe, to 2014 before we actually start you know, building the herd back again. Can you explain what's driving that and and uh, what it means for, for prices? Yeah, well, Bruce, we, we're seeing these, you know, very high prices for cattle, and, and that would suggest certainly if we have the available forage that that would start to begin to drive expansion. And even even if you even if you were to retain start retaining more heifers this year, then those heifers would be would be bred in 2012 and start to enter the herd and calve in 2013, so we wouldn't count until 2014. Mm -hmm. So at a very minimum, I don't think we've had anything that would suggest that that's that any of that you know uh, expansion activities occurred before now. We were down one percent at the beginning of this year, right? And as you pointed out earlier today, that the, the U.S. cow herd is something that's the lowest since the early 1950s, right. I believe, right? Yeah. What uh, does that mean for the, the beef producer out here? You know, how best can they uh, take advantage of these market conditions over the next year? Well, it certainly su suggests stronger prices, just if for no other reason on the supply side of it, you know. But, and demand is, is, you know, at least on the export side, we've been growing demand since, since 1980. You know, since '84, we lost lost out of the export markets with BSE, but we're getting all that back now, and certainly our values, our export value, is up 32 percent over a year ago. You know, during 2010. So the the you know the, price, the stronger prices will be there. I guess you know my my caution flag to producers is that costs are also going up. So just because the top line's higher doesn't mean the bottom line's higher. Right. So they need to be very very careful. About Point. Corn futures up another 25 cents today. Yes. And, and so. forage prices are high too, you know, forage and, and grains. Okay, well, once again, that was John Nalifka with Sterling Marketing, and I'm Bruce Blythe with Vance Publishing at the USDA's annual Outlook Conference just outside of Washington, D.C.